Yeah. Oh boy, it's a nice morning. Nice day for a drive. Yeah. See that basketball hoop? Dad put that up for us, thinking we we're all gonna be basketball stars. <laughs> How horrible at basketball. I never really used that basketball hoop, Dad. No. Never. 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 Okay, so today should be showing you how Dad got the candles out of those glass jars. But you ain't gonna see that. Cause Dad in his in his uh wisdom. In, well I was what was that what's the word for your kind of OCD? OCD. Dad in his O C D nature came out here and he bang, 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 he cracked them all. They smell very nice. Whew, very nice. Very fresh. Have fun. Have a good weekend. You too. I will. Don't party because I'm gone. I won't. Okay. And you drive safe. Will do. And I'll call Bonnie right now. Yeah, okay. All right, folks. We are on our way to... Oh, hi. Oh. Fan owns a company called Tidal Gardens uh, just south of Cincinnati. Fan has a, a video series where he makes some of the most beautiful coral videos I've ever seen. And so I'm going to head to see him. I'll stay over there over the weekend. We'll do a St. Patty's thing. I can do a vlogger one-on-one -on -one with him. He's gonna do a live stream for his channel. Ah, just fun stuff, fish related. It's gonna be good. One special stop we're making along the way is to a woman named Bonnie in Toledo, Ohio. She's a woman that deserves all of our thanks. Well, everybody that enjoys my dad because uh, she ran uh, my dad's stem cell therapy. He wants to say thanks to her uh, by giving her one of the candles he made yesterday. Other than that, it's a three hour drive there. Welcome to Toledo. You know, driving in uh, China and driving in America are two different experiences. I feel like the speed at which traffic flows in America is a little bit faster, but there's a big difference that I know right away. One, in America, you're constantly on the lookout for police because they actually sit in their cars on the side of the highway and they're looking to ticket people. They're looking for speeders, for people, you know, driving erratically, and they, they will take you down. They will give you a ticket. They will flick those lights on and your heart will race. And I've been pulled over a, a few times in my life. In China, you don't necessarily have the heart racing situation because instead of police on the side of the road, it's just cameras. China has cameras set up everywhere. They will snap a picture of, of you driving in your car and they will send a text to your phone saying you got a ticket. And there are a lot of them. Two miles ahead on the route. Slow traffic. I almost feel like the fear of having a police car is more effective than having all those cameras for influencing people's decision on how to drive. As far as a revenue source, I think the cameras are better for the country or the city as, to, to, to squeeze the, the dollars out of the citizens of the, of the country. They say that uh, the cameras in uh, Shanghai can actually take a picture and know if you're texting and they'll send you a ticket uh, and they'll show the fact that, you, that you're texting and driving or talking on the phone and driving. The other thing I notice is that these houses have huge yards. You don't have huge yards in uh, in China. Every stitch of space in the populated areas are used. Anyways, we're almost to uh, the place where I need to drop off Dad's candle, and then I'll do that, and then head off to um, to Tidal Gardens. Yeah, this is a uh, 
I think a stem cell treatment area where they put stem cells into joints and uh, try and rebuild things. Pretty interesting technology. You guys know I was actually interested in getting some stem, stem cell treatment on my uh, knees. But I'll tell you what, my knees feel pretty darn good recently. I've even gone to the gym the last couple of times and focused on my legs and they feel pretty darn good. Use it when you need it, not if you don't. Here. He made that yesterday. Oh, it's did. a candle. Yeah, Aww. yeah. That is so <laughs> sweet. Yeah. Dad, I delivered your candle. Ah, thank you so much. <laughs> he made you a little video. We're going to link to it on YouTube. So. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that was very beautiful. Bonnie shed some tears and it was, it was very heartfelt things. Dad, you have a affected people's lives all over the place. We should invite her over for a barbecue sometime in the future, even though it's a long way. All right, back on the road, let's go. I am 90% uh, sure I'm at the right place. <laughs> There's a plumber truck out in front. And if I had a uh, coral breeding facility, a plumber would be something I would definitely need. <laughs> How's it going? I was like, I think I'm at the right place. There's a plumber truck out here. Okay, here we are. This is Matt. Ah, hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so your, your drive was okay? Yeah, yeah. Uneventful. How many gallons of, uh, of, of system do you have here? Uh, here's 5,000. The community yeah. of reef tank people is actually a large percentage. There might be more reef tank people on my channel than there are actual traveling people. You know, like, oh, yeah. like so. <laughs> they're very loyal. Yeah, so some people were, were commenting on, on Instagram or something like, I didn't know that you guys knew each other. <laughs> Now, when I watch you show corals, you sort of turn them a little bit. Yes. Do you have like a turn style? No. Or do you just kind of move the camera in such no, a way? No, you, you, you kind of have to have specialized equipment to do so. And so I would actually have to program like stop and start points with, with uh, uh, what is this, tilt, yeah. and pan, and slide uh. to get that effect. And your, your, uh, your camera has to be, um, I guess, pre-focused to some degree. So yeah, it's it's kind of a it's kind of a neat toy, and, and we use this uh, for both the live show and to do a, a lot of the special effects stuff. And These I, are your show corals for tomorrow's live stream, right? Yes. Do, normally they're growing. You have mm -hmm. them. You have yeah. them. So then you move them on this the this what is it like the runway? Yeah, pretty much. You put yeah. them on the runway. Mm -hmm. So you must move them here a couple of days so that they can kind of. Oh, or a day it, it before takes, like, to it calm down. It takes about a half hour or so for them to open. But yeah, we, we set it up a day in advance because then we have to number everything. Then we have to correspondingly price them to get them onto the website in advance of the sale, blah, blah, blah. So, so do you buy from wholesalers within Ohio or do you travel? So we're lucky that we have like an importer that's in Ohio. That's within like an hour of here. He's got all the licenses and he can yes. pull everything. And so um, it's very nice to be able to, to work with him because I've known him since... I don't know, probably like a good 10 years now at least. And also we have like some select hobbyists in the region that I buy a lot of stuff from them. Okay. So, because they, they, they tend to be more like collector oriented and, and that's kind of the stuff that we focus more in on anyway. How do you feel about like they shut down the whole Fiji? It's back open again. It is? Yeah. Leo was literally just telling me about that the yeah, other day. Yeah, it just happened and then like 70 days later it's back open again. What do you think was the motivation between well, switching it off well, and on so quick? Here's, here's the thing, like, so Walt Smith is like a really big um, industry guy. Okay. And he's like a big part, he's basically the whole industry of Fiji when it comes to the coral trade. He learned over like Facebook that it was getting shut down. 
Yeah. So clearly there was like no political thing that checked with, you know, the industrialist in the region. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it's like, <laughs> once like, he's like, hey, hey this uh, is going on, <laughs> we... nobody thought to call me and within seven days back of it. Because I think that he had to like, you know, lay off about 70 people. And so that kind of like moves the needle also. Yeah. So don't worry about Fiji, it's back. This is as usual. <laughs> Fiji's back online. My videos are broken into a few places. There's vlog life, which is just like, kind of like it's this, very casual. Mm -hmm. Then there's the Matt's Reef Tank, which I think I'll shoot a couple of episodes of your setup and things sure. like that. And then there's a third series that I'd like, if you want. It's called Vlogger One on One. Like, why do you, why did you get started doing the videos? How did you, how did you, where's the future of your, vi it's very, very, very focused on the on YouTube, YouTube channel channels. specifically. Mm -hmm. cool. And it, you know, that's a very just, Q and A. We both sit in front of the camera. We could have, we could do it like here with the aisle behind us. Here, if that's, you know, it'll only take a few minutes. But sure, we could do that. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. Cool. Well, I'm gonna talk to him a little bit more in, in a relaxed manner without the cameras, and then uh, we'll catch up with you later. Holy moly! So we're in uh, Than's phase. What is, is this like? Phase three, would you say, or is this like phase two? This is. Or is this like phase ten? Has there been so many phases you've lost count? Well, I mean. We do major changes like every year. Yeah. So to, to some degree, there's like a bunch of little phases, but this would be like the big 2.0. It's obviously a brand new construction. Yeah. Blank slate and uh, get out from under all the silly mistakes that you made when you didn't know what the hell you were doing. So. It's a lot of space. So this bottom floor alone is 5,000 square feet. And so the greenhouse that you were just in was 1,300. <laughs> So just the bottom floor here is like, holy moly. And look at the timber. That is a serious piece of wood. Because you're going to have tanks up on top too, right? Probably not tanks up there, but there's plenty that you'll see up there too. So how many years have you been in business? About 12 or so. And how many years have you been on YouTube? Six years or something like that. Cool. Yeah, I kind of lost count. So if we closed our eyes and we opened them and this place was finished, over here, what would this so, be? Pretty much this downstairs floor is going to be, um, almost all of the real estate is going to be used for uh, tanks. But the thing that we learned from the, just working out of the greenhouse is that the tanks are probably like, the least important thing. I mean, the tanks are going to happen no matter what, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Space yeah. For that. Far more important, sinks, <laughs> countertop space, walkways and aisles. So even though it looks like a lot of square footage, it's Most gonna be of the square footage is not gonna be tanks. So are you gonna have like the Apple Store of tank, you know, where like it's just like one tank and then it's just white around? Like, like yeah, it's gonna be real realistic. We're talking like twelve foot long tanks. Oh boy! And then uh, it, 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 the whole Apple Store effect. A lot of people when they work on tanks this size, it's all like fiberglass tubs and things like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, not me. It's gonna be all glass, all custom glass, because uh, just just working out in the greenhouse. The, the tanks that you can't see into, like the tubs and everything. Yeah, like not fun. Well, they get neglected. Like yeah. The corals in there die more, they're less productive. So you have to be able to monitor everything that's going on. And so you kind of have to have that visual of glass. If it's staring you at the face, you're gonna you're gonna be like, I want to clean that, I want to clean that, I want to clean that. And you see problems. Like, yeah. that's, that's sometimes yeah. observation is the, the, the best maintenance you can do on any of these systems. The biggest when you go to a public aquarium, like, I don't know if there's one in Chicago or whatever, does, what, what does your mind just go crazy? Like, oh my God, I gotta clean that, <laughs> I gotta do that, I gotta repair that. It's like, so sometimes you go, to, you go to an aquarium, it's like amateurs. Oh, yeah. Amateurs. <laughs> yeah. The design is gonna be having all these systems essentially cascade towards the middle of the area. Okay. So we do all the maintenance in this area. Oh. So I'm not. So plugging. all the tanks will flow together. What well, in, into their separate? So there's probably gonna be like four separate systems. Okay. And, and just if we need to shut something down, we can do that without disturbing all, all of the thing. tanks. The ideal water change system for me would be to move so much coral that just the amount of <laughs> right. ounces at a time is your the mini differential. Water yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're just topping it with new salt water. That'd be like ideal. Look, we're hoping that this will be mostly done by summer. And then we can start looking at actual fish tanks and things like that. Watch this stuff, there's no railings yet. Yeah, no worries. These guys are working on some of the air venting and stuff like that right now. Okay. This is going to be my studio. Woohoo! Oh, you're going to have the best tank in the, in the whole place, right? I mean, are you going to have a tank in here? No, no tanks. No, no oh. tanks on the second floor. So oh. <laughs> Kind of the YouTube area, you know, if I can like, just set up uh, backgrounds and 
And uh, so yeah, it's a DJ. So he's putting in like um, he, essentially this wall area here. This wall is like super duper soundproofed, except, I mean, the windows are the windows, yeah, but yeah. there's like multi layers of soundproof drywall and, wow. and batting and everything, so. Mm -hmm. if, if it was me, kill the house, <laughs> and my apartment would be up there. <laughs> and just live here. Go down, feed the fish in the morning, you know, and be like, you, you could do it. There's, it would be. There's two bathrooms and a kitchen. <laughs> Jayo. <laughs> Stan is from Burma and his, his family is from there. Did your family live near the coast? Was there yes. an inherent like joy of the aquatic environment that kind of carried over to you, that kind of thing? So from what I understand, my dad was always interested in aquariums. So I got to have aquariums growing up. Yeah. But um, I don't really remember a lot of, about uh, Burma, but we did, um, we did live in Rangoon or, or what's called Yangon now. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, the former capital city that's on the water there. But I've always been mesmerized by by aquatic life, just yeah. looking down into this other world. It's so know? alien. It is. It's like so alien, and especially the colors and the and the lighting that you get. <laughs> it like it like makes alien corals look even more spectacular. You know, which is so funny when you look at a like wow. like, like a alien in in media today. Yeah. It's like how lazy it is. It's some guy in a rubber suit. <laughs> yeah, or something. yeah, yeah. When you have like truly alien stuff that just blows your mind that's under the water. Well, what did you think of Avatar? That was Very, pretty. Yeah. I mean, they took a lot from the you know, from James the coral Campbell environment. Like a psycho as far as like like uh, reef tanks and stuff like that. I know he wanted to explore. He's very excited about underworld environment, you know, the oh, underwater yeah. environment. Boomba, tacos and rum. Thank you, sir. Ooh, that was that was a very good option of a place to eat. I'm glad you liked it. That was super good. Carne asada. Try you out of that. Okay, so what are we doing tonight? Is it possible that we will continue the vlog tonight? Yeah, we can absolutely do that. Okay. In in case we don't, we'll either catch up with you tomorrow or this will be the end of the vlog area of, of today because I think we're gonna switch to Mass Reef Tank and film one of those episodes. So take it easy, Jayo, and I will see you later. Either I'll flip out of this and we'll go to tonight, or we'll flip out of this and I'll see you tomorrow. Jayo? Jayo. Jayo. Okay. <laughs>